Hello. So I wanted to say something about uh, COVID and our restrictions and what it's doing to us and what some people are getting really uh, misled. Well, everybody's misled. Again, I have a wiretap detection. It says my mic is a mic detected. Somebody's recording. That's me. Um, so, what I wanted to say is there is a, a lot that people not being able to be active is doing to cause even worse sickness in our society. So the doctors have got to stop from activity and socializing and all our events and going to the gym and everything else <clears throat> and living normal active lives and um, relying on their medicine and their machines and their devices and at the same time, all the nerds who weren't good at using their body in sports and engineers and stuff who try to come up with devices to do all the simple things that we normally would do ourselves and pretend, you know, I mean, oodles and oodles of devices. We, we, they need us to use and don't really care how we're living or who. They just, even in the best intent, get for everybody to live automated which is what they're trying it's only for them to automatically get that money um and for uh, health is of the there's nothing that has value without health and so i mean health is like prime value your soul is more valuable but um in the long run but here on this planet, health is a really valuable thing. <clears throat> uh, more valuable than, you know, getting a mansion or something, right? <clears throat> What's a mansion if you have to live sick in it, you know? So, the neat thing is, just like fish can go out and get food and eat and live their life active and healthy, <clears throat> people... Can exercise. And exercise changes the molecular structure of your white blood cells and boosts your immunity and and a lot more. It it increases your immune system. Without exercise, your body will get all kinds of diseases, not just communicable diseases, but other diseases, because you didn't exercise fine, well. Um, too much exercise. Too intense to work out, like a military. That causes, that's where it's creating a lot of stress, and you know, real hard, hard labor. That tears you down and, and breaks down your immune system. Moderate intensity exercise will boost your immune system. Now, now go out and run sprints, and and um, the a, a decent amount of sprints that will strengthen your heart, and and decrease your heart rate, so that your heart you know if you're able to do that, and um, get out and, and run a sprint you know, um, that's it's like five times the it's like. So if you go sprint 100 yards, I think that's equal to like 500 yards of jogging. I'm, I'm not sure. Or, I'm, or maybe more than that. I'm not, I don't know. And um, so if you go out and sprint, you know, it just gets that... 
get your body going. It's good to sprint. You know, you don't have to be a bolt, whatever his name is, and you just have to, or Bruce Jenner, or whatever, you know, you just, I don't know, she's Bryce or whatever. I don't know what her name is, but you just have to go out and run uh, at, at your own ability to do that. Push yourself in a sprint, you know, where you're at a full run. And, um, you know, start with 10, start with 25, whatever, uh, even five will work. If you go five, rest, go five more, go five more, you know, if that's how far you can run. And then if your health increases, you'll go up to 10, you go up to 25, then 50, then 100, and pretty you know you're running 1,000 meters, right? And um, it takes time, that's all. But... It's actually helping your health. So if, if it's really, like I said, you know, even living in a, a mansion has doesn't have the same value that health has because you, you would just be sick in a mansion without it, right? So go out and run it. It's got more value than you know. And you'll be healthy, you know. And... What I, the reason I'm saying this is because people are, are getting sicker and sicker because they're not being active and they have their mind, the psychology to, to be, you, being human, you, you're not a device. You're not like, you get to using the computer, you get to using all these electric cars, everything else, even a car, even a, a vehicle. I mean, it's just a dumb machine, right? You don't, people are unhealthy from using them too much. You need it because they get their mind off, even using their body as well, or you know, as, to be as strong and fit as they should be. You know, the point of a car is to get your body from one point to the other, point A to point B, you know, point C to C to D. And, you know, there's a reason for that car is your body, not. There's a machine, and, and the machines are these great things, and they should just be given rights about being alive. There's something other other than that your body's important. If your body's important, it's important when it's healthy or not. But uh, if you have the means to keep yourself healthy, why rely on doctors? See, doctors only get money when you go to them. But if you go out and exercise, you're going to go to them 100 times less. You know, uh, 50 times less. I don't know. Something bigger than a sum. As long as you're eating a f the, the four basic food groups, you don't need to study nutrition. All you're going to learn in a nutrition class is why you need to eat the four basic food groups. The details to it. But if you just learn the four basic food groups, it takes about, you know, a minute. And have that uh, like on your fridge how many servings you're going to get that nutrition so don't need to worry about it unless you have certain problems that you may have been able to not have if you exercise proper you know I mean my, my to me milk water juice of any kind, different juices, drinking different kinds of juices, carrot juice, tomato juice, V8 juice, you know, um, apple juice, I love apple juice, orange juice, mango juice, just mix them up, <clears throat> drink a lot of juices, drink a lot of water, and drink milk, because milk has everything to keep you strong, amino acids, all the proteins, all the vitamins, and you chug that milk as much as you can, all the calories you want for muscle gain, it's all in it. Drink a lot of milk, go to the bathroom a lot, drink a lot of water, drink a lot of juice. And um, don't eat stuff that you can't digest too much. 
I love red meat. I love steak. <clears throat> but turkey, tuna fish, and salmon are about your best foods for meats. You know. And uh, if you eat a good steak, don't eat them all the time. I love meat and potatoes. Meat and potatoes is the simplest diet, and it's got the best stuff in there, you know. And if you throw in some jalapenos on it, you're just stoked for, for vitamins and protein, right? Especially if you leave a, like a potato peel on it, potatoes, and don't peel them. You got all that protein. Some ways you guess you cook it out. I don't know that uh, cooks it out of it, but got a potato, but a jalapeno, you know, it's got all kinds of like vitamins and nutrition. And uh, so jalapenos, potatoes, and meat and potatoes, right? And uh, that's good for you. There's a lady on YouTube from Germany, and she has like 200 something different ways to cook meat and potatoes on there and uh, her recipes I there's 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 simple way you don't have to be a scientist you gotta get that basic four food groups and go out and exercise and, and then also stress kills you stress will cause diseases and sickness and all kinds of things, right? So, meditation and prayer. And, and if you never worshiped God before or sang a hymn, try that because it's uplifting and helps your heart. It helps your mind. And, um, but just really good meditation. You know, get rid of that stress. Try some frankincense, uh, if you, uh, frankincense uh, aromatherapy. You know, it uh, deals with stress and lavender oil, too. And uh, rub it on you, mix it up with some, uh, like, almond oil, grape oil, and then rub it on you, and that feels really good. It really actually heals the stress. Uh, even just burning some incense. Frankincense, lavender, myrrh. And, uh... Just watch out, you know, rock and roll is not real good. They listen to it at the gym, they listen to that pop music. It's not real good mentally um, to be listened to when you're exercising because, you know, it's not just playing around. You're there because you really need those white blood cells to do what they got to do to get your health going. You need your bodies to, to make those molecular changes from the ex actual exercise you do, right? And, and um, then mentally, you need to stay mentally strong, fit, and healthy, too. And uh, I guess it, uh, most of that stuff just seems more female. Maybe my, it's just my masculinity. I can't like to listen to a lot of the gym music because it's just so poppy and sissy. But um, I don't like country music either. You know, it's so distracting and annoying and, and like, retards you. And so does rock and roll. Rock and roll is like sex drugs and, and like, be people on meth while they're singing and performing. So, and cocaine, and so I don't know, they go into the studios on cocaine. Um, and so, get your mind off thinking about doing everything, maybe that would stress you out, you think, but drugs stress you out. And then so does all the social stuff that happens when you're on drugs. And the party and there's so much pressure and, and the, the sex capades, you know, that's not real good for your health. It help, it's not. Um, moral health, mental health, and then that affects all the worry and stress that goes with that and all the problems like getting the traffic tickets for DUIs and everything else that comes along with it, you know, having the drug dealers handing on your door wanting their money, all that stuff. That has got to affect your health, right? So you, you could just say, okay, I don't want to just rock and roll. You know, I don't need to become a porn star. I'm just going to go to the gym so I can exercise.
because I got to stay healthy and not be like these people or myself that when I said when I was unhealthy, right? Because you, you want to get healthy, you should. Um, if you're not, if, you do, if you're going to go along and you think, oh, well, I won't earn money, I'm not doing what's right, these guys are so rich, these computer guys, they would, like, make you a human battery or something to run their machines so they, just because they want more money. And, okay, think of it this way. There is, let's see, our country prints up $30 trillion dollars that's all the money that exists in this country. That's all the money that there is for people. So some guy's like, I gotta have it all. So that would mean that you don't get any if he could have it all, right? So what they did, they couldn't, like, then they start saying, well, maybe this person will help me. So then they start making these groups. They start teaming up, working together, and take everybody else's money so they get it all. Because there's only so much money. And then they come up with this thing, this universal pay. And it's like, okay, if we just give them $1,000, they can live on that. And we'll have machines doing everything. Um, and then we'll just kill them off somehow. We'll just keep them from exercising and hopefully they'll die. You know, that kind of thing. Conspiracy theory. <laughs> 